Hello everyone, Marga here. Today I'm going to make week 8 in my planner. So, this was week 7. Now I'm going to do week 8. I have here a tape, so I see that I'm in the middle of the camera. So, uh, let's get started. First I'm going to edge the planner page. Let's finish this photo. So then I die cut it this page. This is from the one seven four two planner twenty four photo frame pages. I did this side because I glue it down on this page, and the inserts that came out of here I used for my photos. So. Lay my insert on the photo and I cut a little edge around so it's a little bit bigger. So this is for this one. Then I had in the middle this one. I must look if I'm not on. And then for the bottom I had this one. It was, uh, I took photos from my planner flap, flap book page. Uh, videos that I made. I had no other photos so I thought that is maybe a nice thing to do. I must add this one also I see. So that is what I'm doing if I'm not having uh, photos from other things. I'm going to see in my camera what I have. Uh, things I made this week and the flat book page plan of flat book page was a great project I did three days over it to make it so it became also four videos so lots to look for you because I don't want to make long videos sometimes my videos are one hour or more but try to do smaller ones but that's not always possible and I don't like to make uh, quick videos so because uh, I don't like them for myself to watch then I don't make them for other people now I start I think with this one yes so I glue this one can also use tape but I like to use glue because I can shovel it around and I pick it up and I go look if it's inside the borders here not this is correct so It was also a nice project to do. Then I do this one, yes. I must also think if I do it the correct way. Yes, 
And then the last one. The last one was the photo on all the mess I made <laughs> at my desk. And I put the date on it. That you can do with the square. The Canon square you can also put the date on it directly. Before you print it. So I only cannot find where I can change the color. Because it is in orange and I don't like orange every time so I must look at uh, I can find that where I can change that but tec technical I'm not so good so most of the time I must ask that to someone so that is the page and it comes here and I want something on that this so and here and here one I have done four I think so I can mess up one yes I have four and I wanted the numbers the numbers on this stamps I like numbers so I thought yeah I'm going to do the number again I only forgot to take my ink, but I have a large desk here and it's not far away. I had some tape. Oh yeah. I don't want this, so what I do is I take some tape and I'm going to tape that off then I'm going to ink it I showed it in the previous video also I believe or the video before then I take this off don't forget because otherwise you have a black smudge on your page mine is falling on the ground now now I hope I'm not in the camera I must go stand up, I think. Do I want this in the corner? Yes. Yes, this is okay. This is okay. See? And it fits. That's one. I must clean my. Uh, how do you say? This is from. I cannot read it anymore. Oh, ink on three. But it's. Uh, must be in the washing machine one sometime. And now I take the number four. This is, the, by the way, a Dutch stamp set. CS289. Ik ook van jou. But there are great numbers on it, so I do this the same. Oh, is this big enough? Yes, yeah, big enough. Yes. Take it off again. Stand up for this one. Take it a little bit closer to me. But I don't want my head in the camera. Yes. Also a good one. Now the third and the last one. I have here some smaller numbers. At the bottom of this stamp set, this may be also a nice one.
stand up again. Yes. This is what I like. My stamping clean cleaner towels, I shall name it. I must buy a reserve one because this one is uh, old and not see. I must lay a card down here. No. These ones. I'm going to do this one here, I think. The big one. The middle. And this one here, yes. First. Now, with my nails I cannot pick up anything anymore. This one, shall I do it at the bottom? Maybe it's, it's nice, not in the middle. one oh too much but this glue is drying clear so it's not a big problem must pick up my page and do I want some more because I have also the eight week I must look where I can put that one where it fits here it don't fit because then it's oh, I think it's go in the middle here Otherwise, there's no place for it this time. So, week eight. And then, here I want something. But I have also a basket full of snippets from Tim Holtz. I like that. And I see a color that is fits here. Maybe it fits. Yes, exactly. strange thing but it always has the colors I'm like the snippets from Tim Holtz this is too much that maybe it can be on another page yeah maybe hmm. I don't know for sure I don't know for sure I will look a little bit later and one is also a green one, but I can have also a number here. Then I want something here. No. Look at your stage, what you have, and you have also bigger boxes with. Stuff. 
maybe here is something in it. This is all from the reminiscent box. So maybe something that is not in here that fits. All green. Not that green that I want. Also not. This, this one, but this one is no, that's a pity to use here, and you see nothing from it. Can also use these pieces too much, it's too much. This is all blue. I don't like the blue for this uh, piece. This is green, but totally different green. It's also green, but a totally different green. No, nothing in this box. So I go back to my Tim Holtz box. This is nice this way, only it has no straight edge, so I must cut it a little bit and hope it's now straight. Yes, yes. So, what I'm going to do is I do this one first because it's under this page. So, first, I'm going to edge the edges. And the rest is on top of it, so oh, I could glue that already, so then I glue it at once, and once, one, one piece. I must put it straight, the page. Because this is must be straight. So every time you glue a new piece on it, look if it is straight, still straight. No. This one, this one is no. I doubt it a little bit, but it fits okay. Watson High, Hobo, London, Watson and Sons. I like these old pieces. These are simple ones with numbers, but also nice to use. You don't have to make it yourself difficult oh. no, and now I can glue this one
exactly on top of the other holes and push it down. Take it always in my hand because on the other side there is so much to do, then it's thick, so press the things you want to glue a little bit on. Because you, if you lay it flat, then you see there are bubbles in it. And this way you can make it really sturdy. So now The only thing I need to do now is my reinforcements. Now first I have said that I used uh, the same reinforcements, but I don't have them anymore. I must cut them out, but no time, so I took different ones. I said in the beginning that I want to use the same reinforcements every time, but no, it's uh, not going to be. I must take uh, an afternoon to make a lot of new reinforcements because my boxes are almost empty. And I like to have them in front. So I make a lot in, in front, but now they are almost gone already and you know I love the small uh, rings from the reinforcement and the, those are also not these are the last two so I'm going to use these two today and after this video I think I must go make reinforcements So that I have for week 9 my reinforcements on back in stock. So, of course I have only two of the small ones. I put them in the middle. So, so, and this is my week 8, not a very long video I think, 24 minutes, oh, it's a nice one, and uh, I want to say thank you for watching and until next week, bye bye!